You know how fantasy and sci-fi lovers have comic conventions? Well, horse-loving miniaturists have model horse live shows. The 2020 Northwest Congress was my first show after a three-year hiatus. It was a two-day show, and the second day was dedicated to artist resin horses and customized plastic models. If you're new to this hobby, the artist resins are models that an artist sculpted from scratch, molded in silicon, and made resin copies. Sometimes the artist paints them as well, but most are sold for others to paint and show. For example, this was a horse sculpted by artist Maggie Bennett and painted by myself. There were also classes for custom horses, which are manufactured plastic models someone bought from a company like Briar Horses, Schleich, or Peter Stone, and then repainted, resculpted, or both. And finally, performance, which if you're new to model horses, performance classes are sort of like diorama classes. In all of these classes, realism is a huge part of the judging criteria, and so you get to see artists really push the envelopes of creativity, which I love to see. The last show I went to was the Jennifer Show in 2019. I had three years to prepare for this year's show. This time, I would be showing more than mini customs and mini resins. I would also show a large-scale custom and my first art resin I sculpted and cast in resin myself. So what do you take to a model horse show? First off, the models, which need to be in good condition, so no hoof rubs or paint scratches. For resins and customs, this means no obvious seam lines and no scratches either. Every show requires some sort of model identification, such as leg tags. These are usually made from paper price tags with info like the horse's name and breed, the owner name, and it's usually attached to the leg. I pack all the models I plan to show into fabric pouches, which then go into a plastic tote. I have a second smaller tote for my tablecloth, extra tags, pens, and tape. I also have sticky wax for tippy models, just in case, and a makeup brush for dusting models. Finally, I also bring a binder that has a show class list, notes on which horses are showing in which classes, and documentation. Not every horse needs documentation, but if I'm showing a rare breed or rare color the judge might not know, I provide a short write-up with photos of real horses. This sits on the table next to the model and the judge can use that to decide if my model is a realistic interpretation of that reference. When I first arrive at shows, I drape my tablecloth, set out my models, and then it's showtime. I was most nervous about and hopeful for my Namo Pemo horse. I placed her on the table and watched the judge with my breath held. And then... First in the breed class. Which earned her a place in the breed championship callback. So many gorgeous horses. My Namo Pemo Bear won Light Breed Champion, as well as first place in Other Color, and Champion Pattern Color. And then, my first ever Rosette, the Overall Reserve Champion Custom. This Briar Ruffian Custom took Overall Champion. And then it was on to the Mini Divisions. My newest work did best, but some of my old work held its own. There were vintage classes, so I showed this gray mare who was my first ever custom. I have a few horses created by other artists, and my Briar Appaloosa by Katie Langford won overall champion custom mini. 
This lovely leaping Spanish horse by Kristen Cermelli won the overall reserve. There was so much lovely artistry and eye candy at this show as well as friendly people. It was a great show for my first time back. I hope you enjoyed watching this and as always I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!